What's up everybody, my name is Anis, welcome back to The Hive, the place where we make awesome games one sale at a time. And this episode is gonna be a little bit different, we're not gonna talk about game dev that much, but we're gonna talk about dev in general and work, and working from home and home office, and ergonomics, and a good workspace, and all that. As well as, we're gonna be revamping the entire studio, from what you've come to know, into what you're seeing right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. Quick disclaimer guys, everything that you are going to see, I bought for myself, there are no sponsors in this video, I didn't receive anything for free, like everything that is here, I bought for myself with my hard earned money, I spent a lot of time um, waiting for discounts for a lot of these things so that I could get them with the nice price, and uh, yeah, let's get into it, let's get into the office tour. So it's been a little over a year and a half now that I've been working from home. Uh, first, it was because of the pandemic, and then it was because I quit my job during the pandemic to go full-time indie game developer. During this time, I actually realized how important it was to have a good workspace, because I didn't used to uh, work in my office a lot. Uh, I just used it in my free time before when I had a job. And uh, now that I'm spending most of my daytime uh, in my office and studio, I really wanted to have something uh, more productive, more ergonomic, and also more enjoyable because if you have a space that makes you want to work, well, you'll work uh, more and better. The first thing I did when I started remaking uh, the office was empty everything. Uh, we started with painting the walls. I wanted something uh, a little bit dark. I like darker colors, so I went with a dark gray because I really like how it looks on videos. I was mainly inspired by some YouTube channels. I, I am not an interior designer, so I was just like scouting on YouTube and finding all the YouTube channels that had a look that I really liked and I went for it. And gray was actually uh, a very, very nice color uh, in, in YouTube videos and it, it responds really, really well to lights, as you can see over there. So it took quite some time because I've never actually uh, painted any wall in my life. So I had to learn how to do that and especially how to do the uh, finishing touches which are uh, really annoying to do and to get right. We mounted the new desk, um, then I started setting everything up. I mounted the shelf behind me and then I started decorating everything and mounting everything. So one of the uh, most important parts was cable management because I really like my things to be minimalist and clean so I spent a lot of time uh, cable managing everything because I wanted everything to look good and before we get into the detail of everything uh, if you find this content useful please hit that like button it helps the channel a lot if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing let's first talk about ergonomics so for me an ergonomic office is composed of five things uh, the first one is a stand-up desk of course that can go to a lower position so that you can sit down when uh, your legs are uh, tired uh, the second one is a comfortable chair so that when you go to a sitting down position you have a comfortable chair to sit on third one is a standing mat this might look like a gadget but it's actually really important when you are standing up for long hours having a standing mat highly reduces fatigue on your knees fourth thing is a screen holder because you need to be able to adjust the uh, height of your screens and your laptop when you go from a stand-up position to a sitting down position because the uh, eye level is not the same when you are standing up and when you are sitting down and of course a, an ergonomic uh, keyboard and mouse to reduce the strain on uh, on your hands so these are the five things that i invested in for my uh, ergonomic space what i got was uh, for the desk i got the fully jarvis motorized desk i used to have a desk converter but the problem with the desk converter is that you do not have a lot of um, space when you are standing up and when you are sitting down it can be still uh, a lot higher than normal and it can cause a lot of strain on your neck so this is why i changed from a desk converter to a uh, motorized stand-up desk and I got a comfortable chair, which is a Secret Lab Titan. I actually didn't have an office chair. I only had my uh, yoga balloon. This was my chair for the last two, three years. I also got a desk mat 
from Amazon, a basic one. It actually does the job really well and it really helped with the strain on the knees. Uh, I got a double screen holder, a basic one, uh, for my 4K screen and my laptop so that I can adjust the height when I'm going from sitting down to stand up position. And for the keyboard and mouse, I already had the Microsoft Sculpt Duo, the keyboard and mouse, which are very good ergonomic uh, pieces of hardware. I got a new mouse, which is the Logitech MX3, because my old mouse is getting really old. I have had the Microsoft Sculpt for over eight or nine years now. I bought them when, when they just came out and I still have them and they work well. So I will be changing uh, my keyboard soon. For the mouse, I got the MX3, but the keyboard, I haven't found a good replacement yet. So I'm still on the market for something uh, that would replace my Microsoft Sculpt. So if you have any uh, recommendations please comment below tell me what uh, what do you think is a good ergonomic keyboard in terms of productivity uh, what I was going for was an integrated setup uh, and when I am talking about productivity I'm mainly talking about YouTube videos because being productive as a programmer is actually not very complicated you just need to have an ergonomic uh, desk comfortable chair a good keyboard and a screen in front of you but in terms of making youtube videos it's a lot more complicated because every time you want to make a video you need to set up everything set up your lights set up your camera set up your microphone and all that and i wanted a um, integrated youtube setup so that i can film a lot easily and i could actually get into the mood of making videos a lot quicker because until now my entire youtube setup was this it's a GGI Osmo with a wide-angle lens, a Rode Video Micro microphone, and the DJI extension rod with a small tripod. So my, all my videos that you have seen up until now were filmed on this, and it actually did the job, but the problem is that I cannot uh, plug this on a PC, so I had to film with it, and then I had to take the SD card out and copy the videos, and the battery drains out after 30 minutes, so if I was, if I was filming for longer than that, I needed to, you know, charge the camera again, uh, film again. So I wanted a uh, setup that would be completely integrated. I wanted to be able to film on my PC, on my computer. So I wanted the camera and the microphone to be plugged on the computer. So I got a USB mic with the boom arm. I got a Canon EOS RP camera that I plug, uh, plugged on my computer with the Elgato cam link and I mounted everything on an Elgato multi-mount so that I have it on, on the desk all the time and it goes down and up with the desk when I change positions and I can adjust that really easily. And the third point is actually having an enjoyable space. An enjoyable space is actually something very personal. So uh, for me, it was actually painting the walls uh, in a color that I like. I'm a very dark colors person, so I chose a matte gray color. I put on my nano leaf that I've had for two years, but they were in a box uh, stored because I didn't have time to put them on the wall. So I figured it was the right time since I painted the wall in a nice color. And uh, since they are really nice for videos. And then I got some art, this amazing piece of art. I really love it. It's actually a, a local artist from uh, my region here in South of France that makes this. He's called Patrice Murciano. Uh, I will... Uh, link his website in the description below he makes some amazing geek art uh, he has a lot of different things and he always has these nice colors it's his signature so that's it the office is almost complete it is fully functional i will uh, still be changing some things here and there over time but uh, i am actually very very happy with the way it looks and how productive and functional it is so that's it guys for this uh, office and studio tour. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, please hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. As usual, my name is Anis. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.